Hi there, this is John Watts and we're going to spend a few minutes just talking about Photoshop CS6. And uh, I know a lot of folks are saying, well, golly, I just got CS5 and got used to it. What's the deal? Well, there are a couple things and I'm going to spend just a, a short amount of time showing you some of the uh, some of the new features that you're going to find in CS6. All right, so let's talk about this interface. You'll notice that when you first open the program, CS6 Beta, this is what you're you're looking at. Personally, um, I don't like a dark interface. I know people that do. I prefer instead to look at my image other ways rather than against a dark interface. I like a lighter interface. So if you don't like this darker interface, uh, you, you have a choice. You can go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and under Interface, you'll see a row of buttons across the top. And I have kind of taken to this second from the lightest, the one over here. And uh, of course, you can uh, uh, go lighter or darker as you as uh, as you please. But uh, I kind of like this, and it has more of a CS5 look to it. Of course, the second thing I did is I changed, and I'm not going to spend time on that right now, to a new uh, workspace. Uh, uh, these are the panels that I suggest you have in your workspace. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the inner interface. Uh, there are some things under the hood. Won't get into the details, but you're just going to find things just ten tend to run a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up an image, and I'll just uh, open up a recent image so you can kind of see. Here we go. Here's the second feature of CS6 that I really like. Uh, those that have worked with me uh, have my book, my Photoshop book, or have taken any of my workshops know that I'm very big on uh, adjustment layers. What they've done in CS6 is they have split the adjustment panel, if you will, in two. The adjustment panel is now just this little itty bitty fixed size panel that you'll see in the top row here. Now they have a new panel, panel called the Properties panel. So in the Properties panel, you'll notice at the very top, that you have two options. By default, it'll go to whatever your adjustment is. In this case, it's the levels. If we want to adjust, uh, I'm sorry, the properties of the layer mask, then we would click on the mask icon. And lo and behold, if we make a layer mask active, which I just did on this first levels uh, adjustment layer, then you can adjust your density, your feathering, so on and so forth. All sorts of fun stuff. This dramatically speeds up your workflow because now you don't have to worry about that big blue arrow on the bottom left of the adjustments panel in CS5 and earlier. All your properties for that adjustment uh, layer are right here on top. Well, that's all we got time for today. So until the next quick tip video, have fun and stay well. God bless. <music>